This is how dangerous John Morant is and Memphis overall. As Desmond Bain screens for him, the Nets have to switch that because of Morant's lightning quickness at getting to the basket. Every millisecond loss could put the defender behind. Thing is, however, Bain only slips this pick and sprints outside. So he has a running start on Simmons. This is amplified by the screen from Adams. So Claxton has to rotate and close out on the shot. With him running full speed, it's easy for Bain to just pump fake and get a clean look for this shot and knock it down. Morant and Bain absolutely torched the Brooklyn Nets, and at the end of the game, Ja even baited Ben Simmons into a foul, as he said in the postgame, to get Simmons back for a situation from three years ago. Wait, what? Let me explain what he meant by that. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is the 600k edition of Heat Check. Let's get into it. Starting off with Moran, I'm not sure that I've ever seen a player have as many hang time shots in one game as he had last night. He changed his mind a few times here going from shot to pass and eventually released the ball. And this is just ridiculous as he clearly jumps with the ball still on the rim, gets it while going down and still manages to put up a shot and make it. This is crazy. And once again, his 2K controller stops working in the middle of the shot, Kyrie flies by and he hits it. By the way, this looked eerily similar to the famous shot by MJ. And we gotta talk about the play of the day as he takes off on the fast break, launches and catches the alley-oop with one hand, his left one at that. However, possibly the most frightening thing about Morant is how confident he looks shooting from downtown. A career 33.5% shooter from outside, which is below average, it seems like he's been working hard in the summer as Ja started off the season shooting 12 for 20 so far, which is 60%. Of course, we expect that to go down significantly, but we'll see if this is a true improvement in his game or just a result of the small sample size. If it's the first, then the league is in big trouble. One guy who we definitely know is a sniper though is Desmond Bain. And last night he matched Moran point for point going for 38 himself by shooting a blistering hot 8 for 11 from downtown. That's 72.5% on outside shots. This was the perfect way to break through a slow start in the first three games and you can see as the game went on he really had his confidence back as Desmond even raised up for a logo shot sending the entire arena into a frenzy. This is a career 43.5% downtown shooter so you already know that this is not a fluke and the Grizzlies relied on these shots at the end of the game and Bain delivered, scoring 13 points in the fourth quarter, sealing the victory for Memphis. And lastly, Ja Morant made Ben Simmons foul out on this play and he said that it was all planned out by him. If y'all want to you know, go dig up a play, I think it was like my rookie year. Uh, we was in Philly, same situation happened like that. First Ben uh, in the first half, and I went to look at coach to get the play and he ran through the ball, got the steal and went and dunk. I knew it at that moment. Once I seen him, I was rolling the ball and I was at half. I looked at coach and I see him try to like, look like, oh yeah, so I knew I had him. He was gonna press up and I was just gonna force the you know, ref to make the call. Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me throughout all this time. If 100k subscribers and that silver plaque from YouTube was like winning the championship, we now got as many as Jordan. I'm humbled by how many of you guys watch the videos and all the positive comments and trust me, I never take it for granted. The play call breakdowns that a lot of you enjoy watching are back on my second channel. We got videos every day so click right here and help me get another championship over there as well. Thank you once again and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Let's do some special for 600k. Six! Six! Let's go!